All right, let's give Oscar some blinking now. I'm going to just here. I, I've got the, the full bone uh, selected, pressed I to set a keyframe, moved over one, uh, G, Y, up, and one, two, three, four, I, next one, Alt, G, and now we've got a blink, just like that. As the town awoke, they saw me carry her body through the town square, and I brought it. I would like him to blink at that point. Shift D. And I might just extend it G3, just so that he kind of... So he's got this blink as he goes down. And I'm going to set a keyframe here. I'm gonna make him have his eyes looking down at the body. And then what I'm gonna do is at this point here, I'm gonna press I again, whoops, on the main screen here, press I again, move one keyframe. And at this point, I kind of want him to be looking. Yeah. That's what I want. Is there? Is there another keyframe in there? Eyes. Yeah, there is. So I've got him looking down. And then he looks up. Oh, something weird. A little bit weird looks there, but that's fine. I'm going to select these. Shift D. So he's got his head coming up. Ah, didn't really need to do that anyway. That first punch is definitely going to be a blink. Um, G3. Shift D. I'm just going to give a few blinks. Just because obviously if you're standing there getting punched, I know I would probably be blinking as well. God, he struck me over and over. And I stood there till he could hit no more. As he cried over the corpse, I walked away, and as I heard the town mourn, <laughs> a little bit too many blinks. So I can probably get rid of this one. Till he could hit no more. As he cried over the corpse, I walked away, and as I heard the town mourn, I tried to give him money. He called, but. And you know what? Rather than animating, I'm going to actually stop it about here. So five, oh, one, nine, three, copy, control V. I'm gonna stop it there because I think that's all that needs to be done. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna open up my scene part seven and bring it the start of that back a little bit. So press here. We're going to drop it by a hundred frames. Money gold. But, but a life is something I not cannot replace. And now he has sent you to kill me. Do it. As I also mourn over her for the past two years. But if you strike me down, the giants that I have been feasting on will come here and well, seems out of sync. And destroy this town. There we go. Um, so even though it's not going at 24 frames a second, that's why it came in, over a big period of time. It came in, it came out of sync. That I have been feasting on will come here and destroy this town. Beautiful. I'm happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is let's let's quickly just animate all this. So let's scroll back a little bit. But, but a life is something I not cannot to replay. I kind of stuffed up my line there, but I just left it. It gives it a little bit more humanity, even though he's a bit of a vampire. Um, but, but, so, but, but, so it, but, kind of, how would you say it if you're a, a Russian? 
but he would have his hand out coming out at but a life is something you cannot replace so but drops his arm a life and he kind of gets his arm, arm back up again is something you cannot replace so let's try that but okay I'm gonna get I but 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 a life is but but a life so kind of but drop but a life so I think what I'll do is I'm gonna copy this frame a life right there back oops oh well buffer is empty I'm going to really extend that arm and then with this he's going to come kind of down a little bit but but a life is something but but a life but do a little bit of a circle come down and then straight out so so maybe at this point here he bends his arm whoops so. but and what I want to do is probably about here so we've got kind of that circle coming around but, but the life is something life. cannot cannot to replace something is something cannot cannot to replace okay and what I'll do is I'll copy this frame what I might actually do is I might just move this frame a little bit forward copy and paste to give my play gold but but a life but but a life is something I not cannot to replace and now yes I'm gonna just paste that there and gonna kind of move his arm back a little bit just so it's kind of doesn't look but right at all does it a life is something but a life is something you cannot replace. So I'm going to get rid of all that. Clear, 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 clear. Copy. Paste. But, but, but. Okay, let's copy that frame there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Paste. Let's move it forward. Copy. Delete. One, two, three, four, five, six. But, but a life is something. That needs to be extended. Okay, let's find our green area. And this, you know what? I might maybe just delete these. But a life is something I not cannot to replace. And now. So, but. So, maybe even at this point here, we go I and I. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean that. And I'm just going to lean his body in a little bit. But, but a life is something I not cannot to replace. And now, he has sent you to kill me. Do it. As I always... Cool. Done. So, rather than reanimating a whole bunch of stuff, I think that bit there is done now. So, what I'm going to do is... <coughs> Let's go back to the previous scene. I'm going to... Where are you? Get rid of that one. 
skedaddle. Now let's render this out. And we might as well just render it as I'm talking. So I'm going to select in the end panel, only render. So now we've gotten rid of all the bones and I'm going to set the material, uh, the viewport shading to material. Okay. Why is your foot weird, buddy? Oh no, that's fine. And we've got all this. And now we click the OpenGL render active viewport. Click. Actually, let's make sure it's going into the right place. So I'm going to click the uh, render settings, scroll down to where it's going. It's going into the wrong spot. So let's click on that. My vampire diaries, render, accept. And we are rendering at 50% on 1080. That's fine. I'm going to press exit to get out of that screen and I'm going to press open GL. Now this is one of the big benefits. I am currently rendering at I don't know, two frames a second. That seems pretty quick. Whereas in my other tutorials where I did uh, the short film that took four minutes, I was rendering five minutes a frame. It was like 27 days of rendering. And here, there you go, there's 10 seconds done. I love it. It's brilliant just how quick it is. And this is, this is the big benefits. If you're a single person, a single person in a project, you know, you can just pump this out. I mean, I know you can use sheep at render, but there are some limitations on that. Whereas right now, I think that's, that's like 20 seconds of animation just done. So what we can actually do is we can actually watch what that actual render looks like. Um, so we can click, uh, either control F11 or go render, play rendered animation. And it's only going to play this section. Obviously it's got no audio. <laughs> Hand goes behind the nose. <coughs> it's kind of funny. So there we go. That's something we didn't pick up earlier. That his arm goes behind his nose. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to press exit to that one. I'm going to go to untick render only. And what I'm going to do is I have to move this whole arm on the Y axis. So I'm going to get rid of everything. So I've only got Y. Now I'm gonna select everything. Let's go to where his arm is behind the nose. Over on the graph editor, G, Y. Uh, that's not working. Why is that not working? G, Y. Okay, maybe it's not the G, maybe it's the X. G, Y. Oh no, because it's in some weird angle. G, Y. That's not gonna work. Whereabouts, how? Oh, okay, so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna save that one. I'm going to go right click and go into my character library and we'll just fix the character. Okay, so where's my, there's my knight, there he is. So his arm, so I'm gonna right click on the mesh, control L, G, Y, it's gonna bring it out, save, I'm just gonna save it. And what I'm gonna do here is Control S, save, file, open recent, town center. And there we go, sorted, simple as that. 
And now in every other scene, he's going to have that same, his arm's going to be popping out a bit more, which is good. Um, so yeah, next thing that we need to do is start going through um, some sound effects and we'll probably talk about music as well. <laughs> 